Hey everybody, welcome back to another X4 Foundations 4.0 video. Today we're going to talk about modifications, specifically engine mods and how to get started with them. So to get engine mods, first you have to have your player HQ. So to do that part of the quest, then up in the research menu, you have basic engine mods. You've done shields, but let's look at engine mods. So there's a acquire engine sensors task. So if we start that, all right, we got him talking to us. All right, we get some components. All right, so it's like a little time trial here. Where is this time trial? Where are we going? Oh, all the way down in no Napoli's Fortune 6. Interesting. But I'm in a Cerberus. That's not going to really cut it for any kind of speed race. So let's build us a faster ship. The Paranid, they've got some speedy things. So we'll make a new ship here small let's see what we got scout ship should be good start with minimum presets engines we'll go top of the line what does that give us 480 what does combat give us 503 all around 480 but we'll take the travel speed boost 8155 thrusters you know let's get some decent ones We'll get some shields because you never know. Get docking computer, scanner, targeting, trading. Can always use this ship for scouting later on, which I probably will do. We'll just give it a small weapon and we'll load up some satellites for when I turn it into a scout vessel. All right, a million credits for this guy. Whew, it's all that engine. I don't know if I need that much engine, but why not? All right, add shopping lists and start the build. All right, let's uh, we'll head on down to pick up our ship. All right, we are in our new ship with its nice big engines. So we will now head down to the, uh, the starting point, high velocity of research, we'll set that back to active, and head to the starting position. With these Mark III engines, we are really moving. We're still not even at top speed yet, but we are approaching the starting position. Should be there. And it's still not top speed. I forgot what it's like to fly around in a smaller fighter with big engines. All right, here we go. I am marking the end position for you. You must simply reach the destination in the allotted time. Prepare yourself. All right. Go. We'll use the afterburners. Engage. Oh, I was hoping that would. So we got a minute 36 to get there. Oh, I missed. I thought for sure we missed. I was getting a little nervous. I thought we missed. Not for seconds. Going at speed. As long as the autopilot doesn't mess me up, we should make it. Did it. I have submitted your results to the governing body of the sport. You can go and collect your prize. All right. We needed all the engines we could get there. All right, now what we'll, next step we have to go to unholy retribution. Let's head to our mission. Oh, he's right here waiting for us. Nice. 
Greetings. Thank you. Perhaps we could maybe strike a deal. Ooh, a chip. Mark II torpedo launcher, not too bad. Mark II pulse laser. Mark III shield, Mark III engines, Mark III thrusters. Kind of a cool. Uh, any equipment? Some decent equipment. Not bad. Greetings. Excellent. Here you go. We have to go all the way to our headquarters. All right, we are at our headquarters. Let's go drop off this antimatter so we can start with and start producing some engine mods. Science laboratory. I haven't been back here in a while. I haven't done much with my. Hello there. All right, take my antimatter injector. Okay, great. Let's see, is the research let's check out our research. Basic engine mods. Be ready in about ten minutes. Our engine mods are complete. The next step in the process is to go check out what we can make. So for that we gotta head to a wharf. We'll just hop back on our ship. Okay. We are at the wharf. Now we will go to the ship dealership. The ship dealership has the crafting table and the workbench, as we can see right here. We'll use the workbench. And now we have our modification window. So as we kind of discussed before, we do have the basic shields. So that are under shields here. And there's chassis, weapon, shield, turret, engine, and paint jobs. Let's look at engines. We got a lot of options here. You can upgrade the boost duration mod, thrust, strafing, rotation, travel. So all sorts of things. So let's just uh, take a look at this. So we got the Astus travel thrust mod and the Reaver thrust mod. And they both do travel. 35, this will increase travel mode thrust, 35 to 40. Also, you can change the charge time. So a whole lot of options here. And it'll cost us basic fuel injector, extended fuel container, and Nvidia Oxide. We have a bunch of those. And there's a possibility of getting another property on this as well. Uh, let's... Uh, and to do it, let's see, we'll uh, do this one right here. Let's close that one. Install for 50K. Let's see, what's our current uh, travel speed right here? 4656. Five, six. All right, let's install. We got a 36% increase on that. For, now we're up at 63 or so boost speed did take a hit though because we have an engine boost thrust of negative 29 so you can actually get negative effects on on these as well but to to retry your luck it is a little bit of a uh, rng here you can just reassemble for 50k but that's not changing our negative really it's changing our positive a bit. So there we got 41% and then negative 25%. And that's pretty much it. You can only have one type of mod on at each time. So like I can only put one shield mod on. Everything else is grayed out now. I'll have to dismantle it in order to put a new one on. But that is the basics of how engine modifications work. Once you do the other research you can start to put enhanced and exceptional quality modifications on which are even better all right i think that'll cover it i hope that helps have a great day